Hello again, this is Brent, and today we're going to work with soil samples in the Trimbalang Software's Precision Workbench Toolset. We're going to start by heading online to see how you can set up the sampling operation. After that, we're going to jump into the Trimbalang mobile app and see how we can work with the sample locations on your smart device. And finally, we can jump back online and take a look at the results. So let's get started. Before we create our sampling points, we need to make sure that we have a few things set up first. 1. From the main advisor page, click Workbench Preferences. Under Laboratories, make sure that you have the proper soil chemistry laboratory selected. If you do not see yours in the drop-down list, please contact Trimble Support to assist you in the setup. Under Sampling, Ensure that you have the appropriate depth options chosen for your sampling operation. And click Save if you've made any changes. Another important checkpoint is to make sure that your fields have boundaries and a crop assigned to it so that they can be seen in Precision Workbench. Now that we have the settings taken care of, we're going to start creating a sampling operation by selecting a client from the drop-down menu in the top left. In the top toolbar, click on Workbench. On the left hand side, click Samples. When setting up our sampling operations, we'll be working from the left to right side of the soil sampling table. The first column in the table represents the farms and associated field names. Under each field name, you can see the total field size and if a crop has been chosen for that field yet. The second column shows whether you've chosen grid or zone sampling and the status of the prescription creation, but that's for another video. The remaining three columns show a summary of how many targets were created and sampled, as well as if and where the results came back from. To begin setting up targets, click the field name. Enter the grid size and click Submit. You can also use the same targets that you set up from previous years. Or you can carry forwards your lab results from last year into the existing year. For our scenario, we're going to start by setting up a new 5-acre grid. At first, you can see the 5-acre grid set up over the field boundary with the sample points placed in the center of each grid square. To make a change to the grid and points, start by clicking on the grid. In the upper left toolbar, click Rotate Grid. Then left click and hold while moving your mouse to rotate the grid around. Click the button again when finished. To move the grid, left click and hold while moving your mouse around. To quickly move a sample point, left click and hold the sample point and move it to a new location. A single left click on a point allows you to do a few things. First, edit the sample location. Second, change the sample number. Third, you can press delete on your keyboard to erase the point. Fourth, click the Add Point button, then click a new grid location to add additional sample targets. Fifth, click Random Offset if you would like the software to choose random locations for your sample targets. And finally, to auto-label and order your sample points, click Label Grid. Select your starting point, and then select the desired direction. If you made a mistake along the way, you can always use the back arrow in the upper left corner to undo an action. Once you're satisfied with the sample grid created, click Save in the bottom right corner. You've now been brought to the sample overview screen for the field. It's showing a sample map in the middle and sample operation details on the right-hand side. 
In the upper right corner, click Targets and Samples. As you can see in the legend, the targets are shown as black dots, and a complete sample will show up as a smaller white dot over top of your target. We'll see an example of this shortly. To edit the target locations, click Edit in the bottom right. Click Edit Targets. Select the point you wish to edit and follow similar editing procedures as we have previously completed. Then click Save. Now click X in the upper right corner to exit the editing menu. If you would like to print labels for your samples, click Print Label button in the bottom corner. Select your desired laboratory, select the desired test and subtests if applicable for each desired depth. Click Submit. A PDF containing the labels will then populate for you to print. To print your submittal form, click Submit to Lab in the bottom right and follow the similar procedures as we did for the labels. So, now that you've planned your sample job and created the sample labels, it's time to leverage the Trimble Egg mobile app while you collect the samples in the field. For more details on how to collect the samples with the mobile device, see the Trimble Egg video Using Grids for Soil Sampling. One thing that we do want to note in the mobile app though, your sample targets created in Precision Workbench will show up as an incompleted job at the field level. To start the sampling session, just tap the job and tap the edit pencil in the top right hand corner. Now, if you're using the software for a demo purpose or do not want to use the mobile app when collecting samples, here's a quick tip. Click on the button with three bars on the right side and choose Create Samples from Targets. When this is done, the software will drop the white dot directly over top of your target. Once the soil samples have been analyzed by the lab, you should receive a .csv file as part of your results. We're now going to upload those results to Precision Workbench. First, tap the three bars in the right corner, tap Upload Soil Data, choose your lab, now browse for the .csv file that the lab sent you, and click Save. Once the upload completes, click on the Lab Results tab to view your soil sample results in both map and tabular form. A few quick things to note before we end our session today. Tap the three bars in the upper right corner again. Create and delete targets will bring you back to target creation screen to make any last minute edits. As we mentioned previously, create samples from targets will auto convert all of your targets to sample locations. Delete samples will delete the sample points. And delete lab results will do just that, just in case you need to re-upload the results.